Hello students, this is Poonam teacher back with a new chapter of science 1 and that is chapter 8 metallurgy. Let me explain you the meaning of metallurgy. It is the science of refining the metals. We all know that metals do not exist into the free state but this exists beneath the surface of the earth into the form of its ore or, or, and ore is it's like a compound that means if any metal is there it will not be existing freely but it will be accompanied with some other metals and the non metals then there is a need to extract that metal there is a need to refine it so the metallurgy is related to all that so in this chapter the first topic is physical properties of metals so let's move towards it now physical properties of metals are that metals mainly exist into the solid state that means all the metals we find into the solid state but there is exception of mercury and gallium these are the two metals which exist in liquid state at room temperature then metals possess luster luster means the shine the, the metals are going to be having a shining surface but this uh, shining surface or this luster it goes on decreasing whenever the metal comes into contact with the atmospheric oxygen and then the layer or the coat of metallic oxides is formed on the surface of the metal and because of this the metallic luster it decreases or uh, not only atmospheric oxygen is responsible but there are some other reactive gases also like uh, nitrogen or any other gas into the atmosphere which may attack on the surface of the metal and it will decrease the shine of the metal so the metals can lose its luster when it comes into contact with the atmosphere then uh, metals are having the property of ductility ductility is that property of the metal by which it can be drawn into the wire we can make the metallic wires on account of ductility then malleability is that ability of the metal by which it can be hammered into a sheet just like the aluminium foil so the property of the metal by which it can be hammered into the sheet is known as malleability then metals are good conductors of heat and electricity Met, uh, that means metals are able to conduct the heat that uh, heat can pass through the metal and even electricity can be passed through a metal so metals are good conductors of heat and electricity then all the metals are going to be hard but there are certain soft metals like lithium sodium and potassium that can be cut with a knife and this lithium sodium potassium are group one element and these are known as alkali metals then metals will have high melting and boiling point for example tungsten metal the symbol of tungsten is w and it has the highest melting point that is 3422 degree celsius and this tungsten metal you can find into electric bulbs into the uh, electric bulbs the filament will be made up of tungsten and purposefully that tungsten metal is used into the electric bulbs because it has a high melting point then like this uh, the mel melting point and the boiling points of certain metals like sodium, potassium, mercury, and gallium these are quite low so this is an exception then the metals have the properties of sonority sonority means whenever you strike a metal it will produce a sound so all the, the metals are sonorous these are hard these are sonorous so these are certain physical properties of the metals thank you